Doing much better, thank you. Uh, uh, obviously, it was a struggle there for a bit, but um, last uh, last two weeks has been uh, it's been much better. For a competitor like you to see your team uh, where they are right now, how difficult is it to watch and I'm not play? Of, well, I'm kind of jealous that I'm not in it. You know, it's uh, this is the best time of the year. You know, you uh, you know you want to make the playoffs, and, and, and we're already in the playoffs. Playoffs is the best time of the year, and then you know, we went through this last year too. And, and uh, the guys are doing a great job. You know, the battling. You know, we uh, uh, we know what we have to do. We have to win games. And, and um, I don't like sit and watch um, uh, from the outside. So the games are pretty tough. And, and you know, rather we'll be in it and play. Looks like you've had a hell of a uh, start on a playoff year. Any chance that you might appear in a playoff game if it gets? Uh, that point well, that's uh, that's the goal. You know, I, I want to play hockey again this year, and, and uh, obviously that will be sometime around playoffs. And, and um, so I thought I might as well get a head start. Have you started any activity yet? Uh, yeah, I've been doing uh, the rehab goes um, uh, as planned, and um, you know I've been moving a lot more the last two weeks, and, and you know just gonna take it step by step, and, and um, you know. So far, no hiccups, and uh, uh, just got to stay that way. How different do you feel since having the surgery? Uh, well, surgery right after surgery, uh, the sensation and and uh, the pain I had uh, when I was over in Russia went away uh, uh, when I woke up from surgery. So that was a big relief. And then after surgery, obviously, it was stiff and and, uh, and tight and sore from the surgery. And, and but that kind of turned around after the uh, the Nick night here and. You know, I think that was uh, after that was when I started doing uh, some rehab stuff, and, uh, and it went away pretty fast. How hard was that meet for you in Russia after the first game? Uh, it was tough. Uh, you know, I, uh, it was something that I, I don't want to go through again. And, and uh, uh, the only good thing was I had you know, 24 guys around me, and they they really took good care of me. Uh, Got to give uh, Gus uh, a lot of credit for uh, being my roommate and, and help me out there for a week. And, and uh, but obviously, it was nice to to finally get on that plane and and uh, kind of knew that you know, I, I go and do the surgery and, and uh, most of the pain was was gone right after. Speaking of Gus, how proud are you of what he's been able to accomplish? Uh, it's awesome to see. You know, I think ever since he he uh, he came up this year, he, he started. You know, he scored right away and. and Basically, haven't stopped. So it's uh, it, it is fun, you know. He, he's a hardworking guy, and, and you know he uh, he's a big part of our group, and you know he's the hottest player in the league right now, and you know he, uh, we all hope it's just going to continue. Is there a soft date for when you may get on the ice? Um, uh, maybe not yet. You know, I think it's uh, I, I think the the timeline is you know eight weeks without contact. That's the uh, that's what the doctors say, and, and that's what we're going to stick it with, and, and then we'll kind of re, 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 re it after that, and, and I think that's around April 18, 19 there. That's with eight weeks from surgery, so uh, then we just got to see where I am. Like last year, I mean, is there a belief uh, in this room that if these guys can get you into the playoffs, you guys can be a handful? For somebody in the playoffs. Well, I, I think we showed that last year, uh, and uh, uh, same thing this year. You know, we we just got to get in, and, and it's going to be a battle for us. But in a way, we when we get in, we got to play playoff hockey for a while, and we're kind of used to that. And, and uh, you know, obviously, uh, uh, we're going to get some some guys back here too uh, pretty soon, and, and uh, you know, hopefully, we're just going to become better and better and win some games. In retrospect, would you have done anything differently in December when? Well, when it happened in, uh, uh, when I first saw the doc in the uh, beginning of December, it was not a surgical case. You know, we, uh, we, uh, we did the rehab and went through all that thing. We, we knew that was a, it was a chance down the road maybe that we had to go in and do something, but uh, in December it was not. And, you know, went through the rehab. I felt good. Came back playing and um, felt good. And uh, you know, going into the Olympics, I felt uh, I felt great. You know, excited to go and you know, play that game. Felt fine there and woke up the next game. Different feeling.
Hank, you've managed this for a, a while in your career. Do you have any concerns about the impact of your bat on the long-term course of your career? No, I think you know this was uh, uh, had to be done. You know, we we uh, we went in, took away two pieces from my disc, and, and uh, that was uh, pushing on the nerve and. and uh, you know, once this is healed and, and uh, properly rehabbed, I shouldn't have an issue again. How have you been keeping yourself busy? Uh, watching a lot of games. Uh, uh, and uh, obviously once the rehab start, you know, that's, uh, that keeps you busy all day and then, then you have the games at night. And how involved are you with this team right now? Uh, just your presence in the locker room for these young kids? Uh, well, obviously you're here every game. Um, you know, I try to come down here too when they have practices. And, and uh, you know, obviously I have to do my rehab and stuff. But, uh, you know, try to find every chance I can come down and, and be around the guys. And, you know, obviously I miss them too. And, and it's, uh, it's fun to come down and, and see the boys and, and, and be part of it. <coughs> Can you believe that with, well, with both you and Pavel out that the team is still in a, in a chance to make the playoffs? Well, it's not just me and Pavel who's out. There's yeah, a lot no. of guys too. And, and uh, But I think also the guys who, who uh, have came up from, from Grand Rapids and, and other additions that we had have played really well. And, and if it wasn't for, for all the injuries we had this year, we haven't seen all those guys. We wouldn't know what we had in the, in the system. So uh, just got to get through this, you know, get into the playoffs, and then we can have some fun. I think, uh, getting back to Gustav really quick, I mean, are we learning anything about him with this this really big hot streak the last couple of weeks? I mean, is he developing even faster than maybe you thought? Uh, well, I don't think anyone expected him to have this many goals that he had uh, in, in this amount of games, but, you know, he, we always knew he was a good player. Uh, um, and the situation that happened in, in the beginning of the year when you know, he went down and played, played well in, in Grand Rapids. And, as soon as he came up, he he showed where he where he belonged, and, and he just kept going. And I think the guys here is not really surprised. You know, he is a good player. He can create a lot of stuff by himself, and, and you know, when he plays with good players, good stuff happens. You know, a player in that situation who keeps getting sent down and back and down and back, it would be easy to to kind of become a little bitter, but it doesn't seem like he has at all. No, uh, not a lot of things uh, really face him. You know, he's just, uh, uh, just a happy guy who works hard and loves playing hockey, and, and he, do, he does it really good. Hank, how do you explain the pain that you went through in Sochi to others that may never have had back problems? Oh, I think it's tough if you haven't had a back problem. And, uh, uh, but, uh, you know, we also, Bert, last year when he came down here and, and the amount of pain he was in, and, uh, and obviously I hadn't gone through that then, and I kind of like, I, I, I never saw it or felt that before, and, and but when I was lying there in Russia, I, I kind of, I, I knew what, what Bert went through, and, and um, so it was tough, it, it was hard, but in a way too, I was in a good spot, I had a lot of, a lot of support around me, and, and the tough part was not to be able to fly home. I think that's uh, that it took so long before I felt good enough to first of all leave the uh, the village and and uh, and take uh, take myself to a plane. I imagine there was nothing you could do to even feel comfortable. No, like the first three four days was uh, was not good at all. Uh, but then after that we uh, uh, you know we find a way to uh, to make things better and uh, uh, so I think like the maybe game uh, day five or six after it happened, I kind of turned the corner and I uh, you know, finally felt uh, good enough to fly. Have you talked to anybody else who's gone through this procedure just for advice and what to expect? Yeah, you know, I think uh, when you uh, when you end up in a situation like this, you, you realize a lot, of, a lot of other guys went through it. And, and you know, um, uh, Daniel Sedin went through it last year and, and you know, we talked a lot over in, in Sochi and there's other players too that, that that went through the same surgery I did, and, and it kind of it, it has helped. Uh, and if I, if I have any questions or or, uh, or wondering, you know, I, I I know who to call. Is it is it too soon still to put a more specific timeline than just? 
playoffs for a return? I mean, is it uh, too soon to say, well, I hope you back for the first round? Or it, it is too soon. You know, like, we, we in a way, you take it day by day. You know, that's, uh, you just get stronger and better every day. And, and uh, you know, the only timeline we have is that eight weeks uh, before contact. And, and, and after that, we just got to uh, revaluate. And hopefully, I'm, you know, I'm, I'm good enough to, uh, to do some contact drills and, and, and and we'll see how fast it goes. Were you able to watch that gold medal game, or were you in a <coughs> post-up haze? Or? No, the, the gold medal game I, I saw. Uh, the semifinal, I was. Uh, uh, I did my surgery at the same time, so when I woke up, they told me I had a medal, and you know, that felt pretty good. Do you have to go back and see that doctor before you get cleared to skate? Uh, no, I don't think so. You know, I think we, we can do everything from here, and, and uh, um, so. As long as everything goes well, you know, I don't have to go and see me. Who brought back the silver medal for you? Well, Croner still has it, so uh, I don't know if, if they brought, brought it back at all. I haven't seen it yet. <laughs> Thanks. Thanks. Yeah. Thanks. Thank you. Thank you.